Welcome to Tea Time. Come and squat with me, any baby, any fair or my. So you know it's about to be lit when it comes to the analysis and dissection of the biggest entertainment stories. But man, it has even started lit already yes. because man, that DJ MEZ is a problem. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, it's torture because it's only Tuesday. <laughs> and then looking yeah. like it's Friday. That puts me in like, okay, let's go party. Like, yeah. I have to be like, are you sure today is Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's that's yeah. that's that's the torture of DJ MEZ, and he's a official dj for buju to your ears as well mm. so you should know that man it that's my ears i like, I like yeah it. yeah yeah but um you know we just don't do this for fun of course you know when we're talking about greatness we always bring greatness for you guys to see as well so dj Mizi is in the building ladies and gentlemen Me. and yes yeah he's, he's in the building but he's virtually. yes he's virtually mm. you get me where's dj Mizi? we can see you bro where you at where you at dj Mizi. All right, so we'll be waiting, but um, before we, you guys even get to meet this guy, that's how stars do, you get, they are very proud, you guys <laughs> like this somewhere. But the JMZ um, is set to make 2020 his year, you know, it's the end of 2020, but it's still going to be his year, as he is the newest talent to watch out for in grand style. He has released this 10 minutes mix, here goes him, <laughs> mm. you know what that means. The... Um, Antemic mix radiates uninhibited energy with seamless transitions and constant groove flowing. DJ Mises mixing skills and talent is elegantly spelled throughout the mix. Hergasm is a musical experience that listeners will not soon forget. The video infuses an uplifting attitude to the listeners through the dancing and DJ Mises presence with a distinctive style. This talented artist maintains a fully charged arsenal of high octane music that supports the fact that he is set to make a strong impact on the music industry, no doubt, no cap. Make sure to check out the mix as it is a must listen and it is as well-rounded track selection, impeccable transitions, and constant energy. Well, DJ Mizi is one of the greats as far as I'm concerned. He's, he, he grew up, he is from Akwai Bomb, Street, Niger, Ni, Akwai Bomb States, Nigeria, and raised in Lagos, Nigeria. The talented DJ is quickly making ways in the scenes with his unparalleled sound and style. DJ Mizi seems six to pioneer a unique sound of Afro music to the world with the flair of dancehall, hip-hop, soccer, and the French sound, man. I don't even want to say too much, man, because it's right here in the building with us. Virtually, like I said earlier. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Man, you have a long bio, but, man, you know, we already know what you're about, and we know rather hear from the horse's <laughs> mouth. What's going on, bro? I'm good, and I'm chilling. I'm man, you got us sweating. I can't even believe it's Tuesday. <laughs> like, man, I've been sweating. I've been dancing. I was on my feet in the background. Like, they don't even know about, about it. it. <laughs> they don't know sick. it. It's, it's some right. typical hair gas and for real. I wonder what you do to your girl if you do that to my ears. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, man? What's good? I'm, I mean, I'm chilling. I'm I, 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 how did that come about? How did that come like about? Guys, tell us. Tell us. What's the magic behind that? Because that's totally um, different. Um, to be honest, we I made the mix um, around, I think it was August or something. Uh, it was when Party Day dropped by DJ Lambo. And I was, because um, I work with Buju, like Buju is my close friend. I work with him like as an artist. I... Um, I was thinking of different ways to also like push the artists with regards to like the Toronto scene because it's kind of hard to um, be able to put different artists out there and all of that and like with the fact that we have COVID-19 restrictions and everything and I was just thinking of different ways I was in lockdown basically by myself so I was just thinking of different ways to express my art to get people to you know pay attention to the name MEZ as well and I just came up with the, I made the mix randomly. I was just having fun with myself in my room and I randomly made the mix. And like after the um, over the moon part, I was like, I don't think this should be any longer. Like, mm. I think it's just, it ends there. Like the orgasm just ends, it just ends there. And like, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm dropping another video right, like right away, but um, you should be looking like forward to another like yeah. couple of contents coming your way, definitely. Right. I, I, I like the... But Eargasm... It... Yeah, sorry to interrupt. You like wood? I like the music aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, your your answer to your first question, make, it, 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 the music and the work you did kind of even 
it aligns too perfectly. Like, exactly what you were saying is the vibe that we got from the music video. The fact that you sold yourself, but also brought a lot of music, a lot of artists together with that. It's like, a, it's, it's so genius and so collaborative. Yeah. But you already answered that. And, but I want to talk about the video. I like your style yeah. with how you did that and involving yourself in it. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, I feel like the DJs like really take a step back and you know they just want to put the music. But your yeah. your presence in that video added another spice to the already magic cre that you created, and I liked that. Um, do you think that that's something that um, you know maybe you started? I don't know because I've never seen that before. Never. Like I've never, never seen that ever ever before. Yeah, so yeah. should we I... should we package it to your name and say you know pioneer of I... such? I mean, I mean, definitely, definitely, yeah. you should package it. So, what would that be called um, for? Other yeah, what is that? that? Like, why did you, you even come up with that? Because this um, was going beyond okay, the so jockey, you know. The con the, yeah, the, the concept behind the video was um, I basically, like, me and the video director basically saw a Mizi as, like, because I played him the next and he was like, sort of. bro, yeah. I've never heard, like, I've never heard this before. And he was like, and I was like, okay, I, I, I think it's airgasm. It's like, I, that's what mm, I want to call it. Okay. And he was like, um, okay, um, we should kind of think of like concepts of videos and stuff. And I was like, I don't want it to be um, something that I just stand in one place. I just mm -hmm. DJ and just make the mix. And I'm like, because that's boring. Like, yeah. even I wouldn't want to watch that like for like seven minutes. Yeah. So I'm like, let's do something more behind my personality, mm. basically, because... I'm more of a like I'm more of a dancer. I I like to go to parties, have fun, dance, okay. and like, and the people in the video are like my friends, mm. like my uni friends. So we all just we all just dance together. We all just have fun together. And mm. I was just like I just called them and I was like, bro, I think I have like um I have different scenes for. Her. I had right. the picture of like the different cast that she used, mm. and. I just the concept was okay. Let's have like an amazing disease that's going around. Yeah. So it starts off with the student, the student who can like get schoolwork done. Yeah. And he's like, okay, let me tune into Amizi's mix. Yeah. And then he listens to me and, and all of that, and he gets like energy to actually write what he's writing. Mm. The next thing is um the couple in the room they're having like a little argument and everything. And like with my drums, the scene gets intense. So I'm yeah. like, that makes sense. And then we got to the Fireboy point, and I was like, I don't think there's anything else apart from like the dance scene has mm. to start coming in. Like everyone wants to see like Mufasa, like everything. Yeah. Is, the spell song is so crazy. So does that so, make like, you a, an a artist? Really want to see. Uh, also, as well as a DJ, because that's that's not DJ anymore. That's like yeah, it's gone beyond yeah you've exactly. gone far. But do we call you an artist? Like, what category do we put artist this DJ. this this work, this talent, this you know piece of of amazeballs that you've just dropped? What do we call you? Like creative director? I mean, I mean, like I mean, like the like what the do you call said, yourself? I mean, different. Like, sorry, say that again. I. I said, like the presenter said, I Amizi is different. Like mm. I don't know how else to explain it, but DJ Amizi is a different, yeah. a different DJ. Okay. Maybe DJ, I, I DJ Amizi DJ with so, Spice uh, and Jara. <laughs> so um, Amizi, I listened to your um, mixtape, and I must say, I'm one of your biggest fans right now. I absolutely adore it. So I must ask you, um, what inspired that. your love for music? Have you always wanted to be a DJ? But what inspired your love for music? Um, I haven't always wanted to be a DJ. I started DJing about, I think, four years ago. But um, I only used to DJ with my laptop. My, I just used to. I'm a big fan of music, like a lot of other people around. And like, um, I'm part of this like entertainment group where we have young DJs. And mm. I feel like what inspires me is the most is just is just seeing the talents on the team that I'm working with, like yeah. my friends that are all like. DJs, we're all like getting it in the game. We're all young. We're all like we're all young entrepreneurs, and like everyone actually looks up to us as well. And like it's quite amazing to actually just work with like those bunch of people. They inspire me a lot. Right. And I feel like what also in, like what also inspires me is seeing um seeing my mom happy. Basically, mm -hmm. like uh, me making the video, it was like like one part of the vid the ben, ben Ten part. Like a lot of people always ask. Um, I only added that part because I feel like at that moment, like my siblings just came into my mind for like mm. that second. Mm. And like, I was trying to explain like how I felt at the end. Cause I felt like, okay, 
with what I've just done, I feel like I kind of changed the game a little bit. Mm. I made like a slight difference to the game, and I was like, okay, I will call myself Ben Ten. Like mm. <laughs> I switched the watch, like that type mm. of thing. And like um, after doing that, like how are you feeling, Amizi? Like I felt like I'm over the moon. So I don't know if you get it, but like that's the concept that I was trying to. Oh, like, we get it. We're just in awe. All right, all right. So um, one thing that was constant when I was reading your bio was the transition. That is, you knew you, exactly what you were doing with the transition. You know, you went from this local scene. You took us to the house. You took us to the foreign scene, mm. and you know everything was just a blend of greatness, in my opinion. Now. Um, what 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 type of music do you listen to to even be able to come up with that type of transition? Because you have to understand music to a certain degree before you know that okay, after I play this and I play this next one, even though it's even though it's not the same genre, it will still flow. So what's your what's your playlist like? You know, let's top from you right now. Um, my play I listen to a wide range of sounds. I mostly listen to on my piano right now because. Mm. South African music is is doing is doing crazy and it's like a lot a great sound. I really love it. I also feel like um for me I have a great influence from my friends. Like they listen to a lot of trap music and like foreign sounds. I mean I'm from a Pagum state and like I grew up I spent like half of my life in a Pagum and mm. um I wasn't really exposed to that much of like foreign sounds while I was like back home in a Pagum until like I actually moved to Lagos to like a more developed place and I started listening to like a wider range of sounds and all mm. of that. And I feel like um, my playlist, I listen to a lot of slow music, French songs. Mm. Um, I listen to Aussie songs. Do you speak songs. French? I listen to a lot of, do I speak French? No, yeah. I just have a couple of French friends. Okay. And like, I really love French music because it's a different, like I feel like it's a different flex of Afrobeat as well. Mm. Like mm -hmm. the sound is, they have an Afro sound, but like, it just sounds different coming from like a French like perspective. Well, in the in and the spirit, more, in the spirit know, of um, I keep doing that to you. I'm sorry. In the spirit of involvement, because I don't, you seem like somebody with your bio and even your work. Really, you don't really like to stay in one place for too long. Um, yeah, taking us through. Do you think we'll start to see you more? in you know other aspects of the entertainment the music industry like mm. from the dj space would you actually start to write your own songs maybe even perform songs maybe be oh, a rapper, just gonna stay a DJ. or you know even start dancing you already mentioned in the beginning of the interview that you're a dancer as well so like is there anything of even acting because mm. i can't box it seems like i can't box you which is a good thing so i want to know where your mind is at in terms of progression um, in terms of progressing i would think i would want to um um in terms of like producing, I would want to drop a few songs, but I wouldn't want to like rush myself into right. um, putting out music there because I also want to put out something that is different yeah. from like what a lot of people like are doing right now. Mm. And I just feel like with the uh, with the fact that I'm doing a lot, producing is not really like the focus for me. I don't think acting is the focus for me as well. I really like I'm really really passionate about DJing more than like a lot of things. Right. So like with the dj industry i feel like that's something that i really want to have an impact on i'm also like bridges dj at a, um the spaceship artist bridges to your ears so um i just I, I just want to have an impact on the dj industry i'm not i don't think i'm a great actor but i might explore that too all righty so um i must ask you is there any sound you're still thinking about um, working on in the future what do you plan on doing in the future like any sound you've not experimented on you're thinking about doing um so with regards to sounds i haven't like explored i mm -hmm. i have a lot of mixes that i haven't put out mm -hmm. i listen to um i listen to a wide range of songs like like i said before i listen to very very slow songs too okay. so with regards to sounds i wouldn't know like what exactly you're referring to but then um the different sounds that i would definitely like mm. want to explore okay. all right so um we're all looking for validation one way or another even sometimes you know we we, we kind of act like that's not what we're looking for at what point do you get validated and you're like yo amazing you're the man like what's that point for you mm -hmm. um for me I feel like it's when I just like I feel like it's when I see the impact of what I've done on my friends. Mm. I'm like, yes, amazing, yes, you're you're making people 
proud. Like yeah. you're doing this. You're like you're doing the right thing. I also feel like um when I like when I when I'm done making like a mix or something, or when I'm like done mixing, I take out time to like sit back and actually listen to it as like a listener and like mm. as well like um rather than like an actual DJ who mm. actually made the mix. So I listen to it and I'm like, if this is something that you you really like enjoy, like mm. something you really like, I'm like I think the rest of the world will like it too. Yeah. And right. I also always like I also always go back to the first ever mix I've made. The one I made I used to make with my laptop and all of that and I'm like Okay, I like to see the progress you have made. Like, yeah. I like to d- see the difference in the sound, right. the difference in the creative process, and all of that. Like, it's really fun for me to actually always go back and like, and I'm like, yes, there's actually improvement. There's more reason why I should actually make my name known in the DJ industry. All right. All right. So, um, before we let you go, because we're running out of time, um, what's the future of DJs in Nigeria? Oh. And you're in Canada. Uh, when are you coming home? Because I think you've been doing a, I think you've been doing a lot better if you're here in Nigeria. So, um, what's the future of DJs? What should we be expecting from you? And when are you touching down Nigeria? I definitely should be back in Nigeria whenever. Um, might be next December, most likely that next December. But I was meant to be back this December. But with regards to COVID and like mm. um, the flights and all of that, yeah. and it's just been crazy. And I don't really want to get stuck in um, Nigeria because COVID, COVID in Canada is quite different right now. I think we're back. We're back in a lockdown from tomorrow or something. So I really did not want to be stuck in Nigeria because I'm in school here as well. But um, re- regards to like the DJ industry. I feel like you guys should expect a lot more from DJs because especially making entertainment is a group you should watch out for because mm. the different like the different talents on that you should definitely watch out for that making entertainment definitely taking over the world soon. Okay. And you don't think DJs are underrated? You don't think you guys are underrated in this part of the world where you know? I definitely think we are. I definitely think we are. What do you think would change? Like, what what structure do you think should be in place for that to change? Um, I just feel like with um, the DJ industry, a lot of DJs picture themselves as restricted artists. Mm. Um, they don't really allow themselves like explore different aspects of DJing. And like you could like for me, I just explored like an aspect of dropping a visual for a mix. I don't really think anyone like not a lot of people would really want to drop a visual for a mix. They would just think, oh, it's just a mix. It's meant to be done like audio or something. Like you don't really have to make a mix or anything. You could be like you could express your art in different ways i just feel like for me the most important thing is love and soul you definitely transmit through your art all you right let's let's um, let's all right let's tell up some controversy what's your take on um the um, dj any featuring um fire boy and stone boy dj fair featuring whiskey and david O. you know guys putting out that stuff like every every dj now wants to be a musician they're dropping albums and stuff what's your take on that Mm-hmm. I definitely think that's also, that's also a good push for your um for your brand, your DJ, your DJ brand, whatever. I definitely think it, it looks good on your name. Um, you drop in sounds is also is also one good aspect because as DJs, you also want to create music. Like you also want to put out sounds that people might like, people might love. But at the same time, I also feel like um not every DJ is meant to tune into the. Fight, like the aspect of just dropping songs, I feel like you're also meant to explore different parts of DJing. Like, I don't feel like it's just smart to restrict yourself to just, oh, I just want to become a DJ. I don't see any other way to push myself apart from dropping songs. But mm-hmm. I feel like songs also like help um, give you a great push to your DJing career. Alrighty, alrighty. It's been amazing talking to you. Oh, I wanted to say jamming with you because yes, we've been jamming with you as well because man, your mix is some sick vibe and um, we appreciate you. Appreciate and it. immediately after the show is over, we're going it. to jam to this again. Maybe over a cup of red, you know, over like three red cups, right? <laughs> yeah, you never know what's, in it. what's our red cups anyway. But tea time has to go on the break. Thank you, Amizi, for joining us and sipping tea with us and spilling Thank tea you so as well. Much for We'll be right back after this break. Stay with us.